Over 2,300 athletes representing 79 nationalities test their endurance in the nation's capital for the fifth edition of the Abu Dhabi International Triathlon. The competition began with a swim in the waters off of the Corniche, then onto a bike stage which took the athletes across Sadiat and Yas Island and finished with a grueling run under the midday sun. All levels of athlete attended the event, from Olympic medalists to amateurs competing for the first time. You know, it's amazing, but uh, for me it's the first time, so uh, I'm a little bit nervous and uh, I have no idea how, uh, uh, where is the point I should uh, turn, because uh, I will do only five kilometers, but for me it's a really ch uh, challenge. This was uh, the jewel of the Middle East when it comes to triathlon and events. I am so proud to be from, from the Middle East. I think this was something to be very, very proud of if you're an Arab, if you're an Emirati, if you're from Abu Dhabi. You know, I've relocated here about four months ago to train here now in the winter, and uh, the facilities here are unbelievable. But the crowd, the ambiance, was just spectacular. The last three kilometers, I was floating on the crowd's shoulders. People were dying out there, it's hot, and they're screaming, go Omar! This doesn't happen anywhere else in the world. People don't realize how motivating that is, you know? This year, the new course, was impeccable. 2,400 and it felt empty. So the quality of the event was just really, really, really high. Um, and I think that's why people come come, come, come over and over, you know? They, they like to race, it's a fast race, it's a hard race, and it's something that uh, pushes you to the limit no matter who you are. The bike course is fast, so you sort of really went for the bike. And obviously with the run and the heat, it just got you a little bit towards the end. So, but uh, finished full time now. So, uh, come back next year, maybe. At the end of the day, 1,884 athletes were able to overcome all the hardships to finish the race. Logan Fish for Golf News. Thank you.